In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to design creative titles for an audio track. This comes as a request from a subscriber who sent me a YouTube link and that pointed to some slides that showed words on the screen while someone was doing narration. There was no raw video, but as they spoke the words appeared on the screen but in a very creative way. And so we're going to show you one of two ways to do that in this particular tutorial. First of all, let's show you a sample and then we'll show you some of the techniques involved. James 127 Religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this, to visit orphans and widows in their affliction and to keep oneself unstained from the world. First thing I did to do this was I created an audio track. And for the sake of this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to go back and play this particular audio track that you see on the screen. In this case, it's the first few words of Genesis 1-1. These kinds of things are often used in contemporary worship services, by the way. So let's go ahead and we'll play this, these few seconds of this audio. Genesis 1-1 In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. What I want to do first of all is I want to have a background for where my titles are going to go. So I'll just take this d desktop blue graphic and place it on track number one. And then what I want to do is I notice, first of all, it doesn't fill the screen. This is common sometimes, and the very quick fix for that is simply to highlight it and click on the Crop tool in the toolbar above the timelines. And then since my project is a 16 by 9, it will automatically crop it to that size. I can move it up, down, left, or right. I don't have to move it at all. I'll click on OK. It will create a copy that will be the exact size and proportions of my project. What I want to do as well is I want to go ahead and make sure it's the exact length of my audio clip and so I'll drag it so the duration matches. Now comes the interesting part. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to have to break down my audio into the components I want in my individual slides as it were. If I go ahead and play it again, go back to the beginning, it, it will say Genesis 1-1. Okay, I want to stop at Genesis 1-1. That will be a slide. So what I found is useful is I, I right click and I click on Add Timeline Marker. Now the next phrase I know from memory is in the beginning. And so that's going to be my second slide. My first slide, if I move back to the beginning, will be simply my Genesis 1-1. What I'm doing is typing the text that I want the slides to contain between my timeline markers. I'll show you how, how that works out in a moment. So I'm on the second one, and I want it to be in the beginning, and I'll play it. In the beginning, now, then I have God, so I'm going to have to guess where God appears in the, the narration. Let's try 302. God, that might work. Let's uh, try uh, 301. God, a little bit on the previous syllable there, so maybe even 303. God created the that heavens will, that will and work. the earth. There's, this is where the trial and error comes in, and if you find an easier way to do this, I would love to find out what it might be. So I'll divide it here. I'll click Add Timeline Marker, and I'll type in the word God. Now, you can use a word. You can use a phrase. It just depends on how you want to assemble your finished product. And then I would move ahead, listen for the next one. It should be the word created. God created the Okay, let's try 3, maybe 14. Created. That works out, so I'll go back there and I'll type in the word created in my timeline marker. And so I'm breaking up where I want the duration to be for the components of my titles. 
I will pause the video and we'll finish this small uh, segment of the tutorial and then get back to you. Now that I have the words or phrases separated that I want to appear in my final project, I'll go to my title designer. I can press the F7 key or click on T and drag down the title on track 2. What I'm going to do is pick a default style of font. So I'm going to double click on this and then I'm going to select the one I want. I'll take the Capture It font. That will be the primary one that I use. You can use multiple fonts, but I would advise against using tons of them. It can become a little bit confusing. And then I'll click on OK. Now I did this because now I'm going to break up my title according to each of these timeline markers. And each break will inherit my primary font. I don't have to redo it. But I do have to change the length of my all my titles to match my project here. So now everything is square. So what I need to do, I'm simply going to click on the timeline marker and, do con and highlight my title track and do control T. And we'll do this for the next one. And I'll repeat it and get back to you. Now one nice thing about using the markers at the top is when I hover over any of them, it will show me the, the uh, words that will be in that particular slide. So it starts with Genesis 1.1, moves to, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And so when I have a longer segment here, it makes it easy for me to decide how, what my titles will look like. Now I need to add a couple more title tracks, so I'm going to right click on any blank space and click on Add Tracks. I will put them below track number two, or maybe above track three, and I will add, oh let's add just three of them for now, because the titles go on a video track, I need no audio track, and press Enter. And now I have some more blank tracks that I can use here. What I want to do now is go ahead and put in the particular word or words represented by each of these title segments on track number two. So I'll start th with this one. This will be my initial one, Genesis 1-1. And then we'll center it horizontally and center it vertically. And then we'll give it an effect. Let's do a starting effect. Let's do the Unite one. That's a nice one. And click on OK. And then I click on my, uh, my marker. It says In the Beginning. So the next one will say In the Beginning. And what I'm going to do is bring the whole phrase in at once. I'll put it in the upper left corner and we'll make it a little bit smaller. And then I want to use an effect on it so it comes in as the words of the vocal do. The one you'll see me use a lot in this exercise is a simple wipe right as my starting effect. And then we have to modify the duration. Let's go ahead and play it. In the beginning, and it comes in too late, I hear. So what I, all I need to do is go ahead, I can modify this somewhat. Let's make it the duration longer and see if that gives me the result I'm looking for. In the beginning, it comes in too fast. I can actually shorten it on the front end. In the beginning, that looks pretty good. In the beginning, OK, click on OK. And so now I have my first part. The next thing, we're going to click on the next one, and if I hover over it's the word God. We'll have God come in with the same font face, but much bigger. Enlarge it. And move it over here, perhaps. Let's change the color just for fun. OK. Click on OK. And let's see if it comes in audibly right. So we're going to go... In the beginning, God created... Okay, now we have God. Now we went in the beginning and God and created on the screen at the same time. That's how I'm going to design this particular slide, as it were. Let's do the created really quick here.
and we'll move it down to the bottom. We'll change the size a little bit. Okay, what I need to do now is I need to take all three of these and work on them at the same time. So I'm going to hit my, click on my marker, take God down, move it down one track, created, move it down two tracks. And I'm going to take in the beginning, make it on the screen for the length of all three titles and God on the length of the second and third titles. Now we have in the beginning God created. Now I can go ahead and modify the position of the word created if I want to. And let me change the color just for fun. Let's make it green and we'll give it a border to make it stand out. We'll use a white color on our border here. In the beginning God created. And let's see how our timing goes. I'll click on OK and we can play the whole thing so far. Genesis 1-1 In the beginning God created the heaven. Now we have some problems on timing I hear in the beginning so far. Let's try again. In the beginning Okay so the audio is faster than my title so I need to have my title come in sooner. Okay. God created God created looks good. We have to Go ahead and adjust in the beginning. So there's a little bit of back and forth here. And then what I'm going to do is do the same thing with the second segment where we have the heavens and the earth. So I'll take the heavens and I'll take the, the and. Uh, oops, I moved my marker there. We'll go ahead and drag this one down. And the earth will stretch the one for and, stretch the one for the heavens, and we'll retype in the heavens and the earth, and I'll show you the results of that in a moment. I've put the text in for the title of heavens and the earth, and I've adjusted a little bit the timing of the phrase in the beginning, so we're going to go ahead and play what we have so far. Genesis 1-1 In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Now in the next tutorial we're show, going to show you another way to do this, a slightly modified technique. Also, how to add keyframing in order to give you even more flexibility in how you bring words in, how you turn them 90 degrees, make them fly in from different directions, and do some other fancier things in creating these kinds of narrative-related titles.